I have been fortunate enough to be invited to somebody's home to learn about leavened bread. It's said that it was first ever made in here in Egypt and the tradition lives on. It looks like it might be the right place. Hello? Hello? John. Look, the thing is, we have a language barrier, but, but we're just gonna, I'm going to follow. We're going to see what happens. Hello? Hello? Hello. Wow. You're tiny. Wow. Oh. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. How are you? I didn't really expect to be handed the baby. We're going to learn about bread today, aren't we? We're all going to learn about bread. Yeah. Oh, another one. <laughs> it seems to be. I feel like the Prime Minister. The human side of John's Road. I've got four little ones already, so I say let's make some bread. What's the name of the bread? Shamsi. 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 What Shamsi? Th th this. Shamsi means sun. Is that right? In goes the flour. See, it's all bubbling. That is active yeast. This is what we would call a starter. It contains flour, water, and most importantly, yeast, which makes the bread rise or become leavened. So you can see the bread's being folded over, then picked up and slapped. This is proper hard work. This is a special moment for me. As a cook and a lover of food, I am watching bread as it was made here in Egypt centuries ago, the birthplace of leavened bread. And I'm watching it here amongst this. The blue skies, the open, and this amazing home with a family. How lucky am I? That's it? Oh, I lost it. Yeah? Tired now? OK. The dough is shaped into balls and scooped onto round boards. This is a production line. Let's go and see where this goes to. Come on. This way. Come on. Oh, oh, look at this. Look. This is quite an incredible thing because there are sheep grazing, there's farmers working, there's farmland. This is as green as green as green. And this is Egypt. So this bit that's left over here in the bowl is for the next time bread's being made. So by keeping it like this, the yeast stay active, and once the liquid's added to it, up it goes like a huge balloon. The loaves are left out in the sunshine to rise for about an hour, which explains their name, Shamsi, after the sun. In the meantime, the ladies build a fire under the bread oven to get it smoking hot. The dough, you remember, is really wet. Because it's been in the sun, it now has a crust on it. And with a stick, they're going around the outside to release the crust on the outside of the bread so when it goes in the oven, the whole thing opens up. I've never seen anybody do this before. Right, I hope they're going to clean the oven, but I'm not quite sure what's happening here. But there's flour going into the base of the oven. Whoa! and burn the flour. The flour catches fire and burns off the dirt, which makes the oven clean and ready to go. Well, from now on, I think I'm going to change the way I clean my barbecue. In go the loaves. The bread is already rising in there, and now it's getting sealed up. And it's going to cook for between 20 minutes and half an hour. In there is bread. The first ever leavened bread is said to have come from here in Egypt. And it's been passed on from generation to generation. And the same process seems to be going on in front of me today. Pretty stunning, I think. Done. Here we go. When you tap bread, you can tell whether it's done or not by the noise it makes. It's like a hollow drum. You're joking. That's, that's boiling hot. Look, just picks it up with her hands. An ancient technique using ancient grain in a house using ancient materials 
in a modern world. Next time you pick up a loaf of bread from the shop, have a little think about its humble beginnings. Time to eat. Quite amazing, really, invited into somebody's home to make bread. And now I get to eat it with aubergines, beans or fool, some tomatoes, a bit of peppers, some cheese. This is very special. Thank you very much indeed. Mm. Wow. The bread is really soft, spongy, almost the texture of a crumpet inside. It's so light. Look how airy it is. It's really very good. This part of my journey has been a real revelation to Shumpsy.